Dear friends, today we commemorate the 60th anniversary of the first human space flight. On April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin orbited our planet in the spacecraft Vostok 1 and after 108 minutes of flight successfully returned back to Earth. This day was the beginning of the era of mankind in space. Until now, the first cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, is considered to be a hero in Russia and elsewhere in the world. In 1961, two months after the historical flight, President Sukarno, during his visit to Moscow, decorated Yuri Gagarin with one of Indonesia's highest symbols of distinction, the Order of the Star Second Class, Bintang Mahaputra Adit Pradana. Since then, the words Sputnik, Gagarin, as well as the name Yuri became extremely popular in Indonesia. It is not a coincidence that on March 10 this year, Yuri Gagarin Monument was opened in Taman Mataram, South Jakarta. This special occasion was dedicated to the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Russia and Indonesia, which was celebrated in the year 2020. That ceremony had a special significance not only for the Russia-Indonesian ties, but also for the capital cities of our countries, as Moscow and Jakarta have maintained relationship as sister cities since 2006. The new monument dedicated to Yuri Gagarin is undoubtedly another illustration of development of these relations, as well as a gift from Moscovites to Jakartans. I would like to note that relations between our countries have been always marked with strong friendship and mutual respect, and their history dates back to early 19th century. Nowadays, trust and equal partnership are the basic principles which contribute to further strengthening our interaction both in bilateral format and multilateral platforms. Russia and Indonesia have enjoyed active political dialogue which includes close contacts between the leaders of our countries, heads of parliaments and government institutions. Despite the negative influence of COVID-19 pandemic, we witness uprising cooperation in social and cultural spheres. Once again, let me congratulate you all on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the first flight of a human being into space. Thank you. Друзья, 12 апреля мир празднует 60-летие первого полета человека в космос. В этот день, в 1961 году, Юрий Алексеевич Гагарин совершил виток вокруг Земли на аппарате «Восток-1». Успех этой миссии ознаменовал новую эру в изучении космического пространства, вдохновил многих ученых миров, в том числе и индонезийских, на изучение профильных дисциплин. 
Спустя два месяца после исторического полета первый президент Республики Индонезии Сукарна в ходе визита в Москву достоил Юрия Алексеевича одной из высших национальных наград – Орденом Звезды второго класса. Символично, что в канун юбилея 10 марта 2021 года состоялась церемония открытия памятника Юрию Алексеевичу Гагарину в Джакарте. Это вновь продемонстрировало дружеский характер российско-индонезийских отношений, история которых насчитывает уже 71 год. Отрадно, что и по сей день слова «спутник» и «Гагарин», а также имя Юрий, пользуются популярностью в Индонезии. От всего сердца, от лица отряда российских космонавтов поздравляю индонезийских братьев и сестер с 60-летием первого полета человека в космос.